Monday morning. Um, <clears throat> I just thought of something. <clears throat> you know, Friday, Larry was out of the office again. He was off again. <clears throat> Not every week, but almost every week, Larry takes off. But yet, he complains. He gets a two day, a full two day weekend. <clears throat> most every weekend <clears throat> and then he takes extra days off and then he complains that I want my weekends off and every once in a while I need a weekday off to take care of my business stuff he's taking off all the time all the time <clears throat> I can go back. This is my main substitute dispatcher, right? I can go back <clears throat> and count the days that Larry's had off in the past couple months. <clears throat> uh, April 18th. <clears throat> April 19th. April 20th. April 21st. Oh. Okay. Now I've had a different substitute dispatcher between April and uh, September. <clears throat> right? <clears throat> so it was off September 2nd. September 5th, September 6th, <laughs> September 7th, October 14th, October 15th, oh wait, Oh, wait, no. 15th was the weekend. So, <clears throat> yeah, that was Saturday. And that was when I messaged this guy saying that I don't got a dispatch yet. He said I'm delivering, I'm picking up in Springfield, but <clears throat> I got nothing. So I'm sitting here waiting to be dispatched. And I've had other uh, substitute dispatchers. Oh, Larry's in today, so I can't count today. It's not there yet, but... Okay, he says Larry is back. <clears throat> uh, 
not Paul, there's a Peter guy that also was a substitute dispatcher a couple times. But he didn't talk much. Here he is. <clears throat> okay, February, he was not my uh, dispatcher. So, um, or Larry was not my dispatcher. So, August 31st, September 5th, and that's it. <clears throat> so, all those days off that Larry took, and he complains that I want one or two extra days off. <clears throat> you know, yesterday or this weekend, I needed an extra day off. And last month, I requested an extra day off to go do a tree job. That was about it. I don't recall ever requesting an extra day off. And if I did, it was only once or twice. But you know, Larry's taking off days all the time. <clears throat> Which is fine. I don't give a shit if he takes a day off. I think Paul's been my substitute dispatcher once or twice, too. <laughs> September. Okay, April 4th, 17th. So three times Paul was my... not there it's over here it's on my tablet Okay, it just showed up. Never mind. <clears throat> All right. So I'm getting ready to roll. I'm going to... Uh, Stop by my accountant after uh, 8 o'clock. They open at 8 o'clock, so I'm going to leave here. I'm doing my pre-trip now, which means I can go ahead and start doing my route plan since I just now got my dispatch. Munster, Indiana. <clears throat> start with this. Got my three GPS's here. What the heck? <coughs> Done. Go back. Oh, drive to address. Sorry. <coughs> so with Google, I gotta do it forwards, and the rest of them I do it backwards. So one nine. Zero four. So, uh, north. I thought my... I thought my accountant was open on Friday. But turns out they're closed Friday. They're only open on Monday. Um. <clears throat> which is weird because my other accountant is only closed... It's closed on Friday and only open on Monday. Uh, when they're open, a lot of times they're only appointment. They're by appointment only. Oh, this is the caves. Area 51. No, area 14. Okay. Yeah, I'm going in the caves. Okay, directions. <clears throat> It's 
What's wrong with this GPS? I guess I gotta shut down and restart. These new Rand McNally's aren't as good as the old ones. I do like the fact that they do automatic updates. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna power that down. I know where I'm going, so it doesn't matter. Add. Stop. Go find my accountant's address if it's in here. This is my new accountant. My old accountant sucks. Here they are. <laughs> Copy. this to there power my ram McNally back on and do my tom tom i love the tom toms the older ones maybe not so much the newer ones <laughs> there we go um Because you can create folders and Calumet. Avenue. Nine three zero zero nine three zero zero. So the one you hear talking in the background most of the time. <coughs> Is my Rand McNally. Reason why is because toll charge. Uh, I got favorites marked in there, and when you when you're coming up on a favorite or you have a favorite, you know, nearby or on your route, uh, it'll notify you if you want it to. Uh, sometimes it'll just flash a symbol or give an alert. It just depends on what you tell it to do. <laughs> So I love the TomTom. -tom. It's too bad they don't make a truck GPS. If they made a truck GPS and had these folder thingies in it where it'll know, notify you when uh, you're coming up on one that you want, that would be freaking awesome. L-E-C-A Okay, this one's not in this GPS. I'll have to get the longitude and latitude. Not that I need it. I know where I'm going, so... Uh, L-E-C-O Oh, it's L E space C O.
MP. There it is. Is it north? North. Okay. North. North. <laughs> and then 1904. did this one kind of backwards so <clears throat> but the nice thing about the new Tom Toms is you put in the next address Munster and you in you can tell it to put it at the end it'll ask you how you met 9300 9300 to via as last stop all right <clears throat> so now uh, enter my accountant's address <clears throat> I did go Friday and saw that they had street parking where I could park the big truck so that was good uh, a lot of times they don't like he wanted me to uh, oh Bolivar he wanted me to take my big truck to the chiropractor well I couldn't do that right because they don't have truck parking they didn't even have street parking um, it's like downtown Bolivar um, my accountant almost doesn't have street parking it's almost downtown Bolivar but <clears throat> there's a side side road and they're on the side road and it's wide enough to where I can get in there and park where people can get around me and it's in the country so that's an advantage you know it's not like Chicago where you'll get a ticket out here, people are more understanding. Albany. <clears throat> South. 709. <clears throat> Add to Via as next stop. Alright. Okay, it's saying I got further to go because... It does, for some reason, it always tells me not to take 32. Well, from here to Bolivar, you take 32. It wants me to go up to 54 and then over to Collins and then back down to uh, Bolivar. I'm like, what? So, like it says, this new GPS, I guess they say that they have like AI and they'll learn you. South? Yes, yeah, south. But, um,. Uh, it hasn't learned me yet, 709. And I've had it for about a year now. <clears throat> Alright, done. And start. So I'm 30 minutes away. 38 minutes away. Done. Let's look at my logbook. Duty, so I don't eat up my logbook. <coughs> <coughs> so yeah, Rand McNally wants me to go. Oh, well if I go that way, I will only be two minutes slower. But 32 is the best way to go. That's just the best way to go. <coughs> so that's the way I'm going. I'm gonna make sure I got all my uh, stuff situated, and I'm ready to roll. So, 9, 10, 11. <clears throat> yeah, so I'll get to Springfield two hours before my appointment time. 
<coughs> I usually try to get there about an hour before my appointment time, but I'm not sure how long it's going to take out the accountant, so I want to make sure that uh, I have plenty of time, don't want to be late. But it shouldn't take too long. <coughs> I should be out of there by 8. And if not, well, that's okay, because I have allowed for time. <coughs> and yeah, I started my clock a little early to go there and do that, but psh, I normally get up at 5 or 6. In fact, uh, well, this morning I got up at 5 because I didn't go to bed. Oh, no, 6. I got up at 6 because I didn't go to bed till midnight. <coughs> uh, but the last two days I've been up at like... Yesterday I was up at 3 a.m. and the day before that I was up at 4, 2 a.m. <clears throat> I'm starting to be like my dad. My dad wakes up at God knows, you know, ungodly hours in the morning. And then he can't go back to sleep. However, I can usually go back to sleep because I can sleep like the dead. So I got pretty much all my crap done. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, I don't need any special days off now, except for, well, I did buy a newer used truck this weekend. Because my other two trucks seem to break down at the same time all the time. Like one right after another. <clears throat> so I was like, all right, I need a third truck as a backup. <clears throat> so I went and bought a third truck. And, uh, but I had to run to the bank Friday. That's why I needed Friday off. And get the money. Or get some of the money. <clears throat> Cause I don't have a debit card for that bank then go to the mechanic check on this truck because he said it was gonna be done but it wasn't done till Saturday and he was only open till noon on Saturday just like everybody else <clears throat> and uh, so Friday after I took care of my business day business hour stuff I went and bought <clears throat> this newer used truck it's not that much newer it's only a 94 but my other two trucks are a 92 and 93. But, you know, this way they're all compatible, right? <clears throat> and, um... Uh, and then I got two spare trucks in the back. But this newer truck has been already rebuilt. <clears throat> so the only thing that has not been rebuilt is the rear end. The only problem with it is it's two-wheel drive. Um... Uh, and... It's a V6, but it's got a beefed up transmission, so it runs almost like a V8. <clears throat> uh, so that's awesome. Uh, anyways, and it'll pull more than my V8 Dakota. Now this is what I got was a Dodge Ram. <laughs> I was surprised that I had a V6 in it, to be honest. But anyway, Uh, so Saturday morning I got up and went to the other bank because I had well I, I had to go by that other bank to get money out Friday <laughs> and then I went to the ATM Saturday morning although they're open Saturday not for very long but they're open Saturday that bank the other one Eldo is not the one in Stockton is <laughs> so I went back Saturday morning got the rest of the money I needed for the mechanic <laughs> went over <clears throat> dropped off the new truck it didn't have a fuel gauge so I had him replace the fuel gauge oh well, the horn didn't work and you gotta have a horn in Missouri to pass inspection <laughs> so I was like okay fix the uh, fuel gauge and the horn and whatever else it needs to pass inspection and so I dropped that off picked up my uh, my small Dakota my V6 Dakota 
<laughs> and I went and ran my other errands that I needed to do on Saturday that I yeah and then yesterday I did my drug test for my new job that should be back in a couple days and uh, then I'll turn in my two weeks notice oh yeah <clears throat> I'm not even going to read that because it's probably going to piss me off <clears throat> but who knows maybe he's being nice <clears throat> so this is what I said <clears throat> well I found something out yesterday which was Friday which he had the day off uh, he was messaging me on Viber, so he had it on his phone, and, you know, arguing with me on Viber, but yet he had the day off. He had time to argue with me, but he was doing whatever he wanted to do. While I wanted that day off, and he complained, right? Makes sense. So anyways, I talked to driver relations, and basically, mostly, they basically mostly agreed with me. However, however... They also informed me that recruiting had lied to me. So that pretty much sealed the deal. Yeah, I'm out of here. <clears throat> I was pretty much out of here anyways, but that was the icing on the cake. They want us to kiss and make up, which is fine. My days here are now numbered. You say you are the most easygoing dispatcher there, and Catherine would agree with you. She said that we are both chill and very much alike. <clears throat> We're chill, but argumentative, because I will stand my ground. Um, so, I don't like to burn bridges. I'm not afraid to, but I prefer not to. So while I'm still here, I will try and travel the high road. When I leave, I wish to part on a good note. Maybe not on good terms, but on a good note. <clears throat> I should have said a high note, but I already said high road. Anyways, I won't be here next year, but I will do my best to make sure these last days are good ones. When I have the word, I will give a formal two weeks notice and hopefully part without any troubles. And that's it. <clears throat> I guess I'll read what he said. Let's read what he said. <clears throat> and then I'm going to take off. <clears throat> so yeah, this is... <coughs> where I, I just copy and paste what I said to him <laughs> and about your message I understand and as I said I never wanted to argue or fight with any of my drivers so if you made a decision that's fine but for now I will work around by giving you some days off during the week if you need some but just please give me a heads up two weeks if possible which I've done you know <clears throat> so apparently the higher ups talked to him and basically uh, said hey this is what he was promised you know we gotta stand by our word maybe I don't know they said they would so they probably did <clears throat> but I don't like being lied to and he lied to and about me uh, claiming that I had four days off when I only had two and a half days off three days max but he tried to bully me and badger me <clears throat> by claiming I had four days off when I didn't and uh, last week the reason I got pissed off and, and we got into a fight about me having Friday off <clears throat> he tried to give me that load to green uh, picking up in Greenfield, which delivered today in Chicago, which means I wouldn't have got my stuff done this weekend <clears throat> or Friday. <laughs> but I told him no, because it would interfere with me getting my stuff done, you know? <clears throat> and he claims he said that's fine and that was it, but that wasn't it, you know? He wanted to argue with me that I would have too many days off. And it's not, he claims it's on recording, so I want to hear that recording. But he said, oh, four days off in two weeks is too many days off. And I yelled at him and says, four days off in two weeks is what I was promised. I don't know if this guy can do math or not, but two days off every week 
equals four days off every two weeks. I mean, do we not know math, right? I don't know. I mean, I'm not the best mathematician either, but I can do basic math. So, <clears throat> I don't know. So, I'm only going to be here for two or three weeks. So, I'm just going to try to keep my cool. And he's going to try to work with me, hopefully, maybe. So, he says. But he said that before. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah. So, I'm out of here. I'm going to go do my load. Let's go ahead and give him a thumbs up. And I'll read that other part later because I don't need it right now. All right, <clears throat> party on. I guess I'm ahead of schedule big time because the accountant wasn't open. <laughs> they say they're supposed to be open Monday, but they're not. So, I gotta Turn at the first left onto Rick Siner Memorial Highway. Try again. Uh, highway 13. North Highway 13. Know. Next month, maybe. So, if my dispatcher gets me home next weekend <clears throat> and they don't let me go early. And I'll just take these papers back out of my big truck and leave them home. <coughs> Wait till I start the next job to get over there and do it. Because the next people, they'll get me home during the week. Unlike these guys. <coughs> They're going to let Follow me work. Highway 13. North Seven. Highway 13. Towards Rala. For 23 miles. Seven on, two off. Which really, seven on, two off is no is no different really than if you if you do the percentage it's no different than a 34 hour reset after five days the problem with 34 hour reset after five days <coughs> is you're sleeping pretty much most of the time you got barely any time to get anything done or if you got two full days, you can actually get stuff done, right? <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh, I, I, I assume the cor you know corporate understands that and doesn't care. My dispatcher apparently doesn't understand it and can't do math. But corporate made the rules, and even though recruiting lied to me, Apparently, corporate wants <clears throat> dispatchers to get the drivers home Saturday afternoon, evening, and send them back out Monday morning. <clears throat> well, you get home Saturday evening, you can't get anything done because you're tired. You've been driving all day. And uh, then the next day, you're running around like a chicken with your head cut off to get stuff done. And Sunday, depending on where you live, you know, you can't get things done. Depends on what it is. And then Monday morning, well, they want you to leave out Monday morning. So there you go. Monday's shot. Can't do anything Monday either. <clears throat> so, but I guess it depends on the loads. You know, like a lot of times they have me pick up in Greenfield, Missouri, which is 30 minutes away. <clears throat> but the pickup time is usually like 1 or 2 o'clock. If that's the case, I can run and do some business stuff in the morning, you know. But like this time, I didn't get that, you know. I didn't get that load. I got to go to Springfield and load at 11. Truck parking, 5.7 miles. Next opportunity, 74 miles. But I still tried to, you know, swing by there. They weren't open. They said they... Their sign on their door says Monday morning, 8 o'clock. Google Maps said Monday morning, 8 o'clock. I got there at 8.30. Nobody's home. 
So I called and left a message, see if I can at least uh, drop them off on a weekend. Make an appointment to just drop them off on the weekend. Because there's no way I'm going to get home during the week to drop it off. So... unless I wait till after I uh, start that other job. <clears throat> so I'll just go down here, get loaded, do my week, go home, do my thing, and ride this out the best that I can. <clears throat> and uh, move on to hopefully greener pastures. It's tankers. Tankers are usually better. <clears throat> usually. Not all tanker companies are created the same, but uh, most of them are generally good. <clears throat> generally. So, I had two tanker companies rip me off on my pay. They lied to me about different things, but one of them wasn't <coughs> corporate, it was my terminal manager. I found out later that he got fired for illegal activities, <laughs> ripping people off basically and hoarding the money. I don't think hoarding is the right word, I think uh, laundering is the right word. <coughs> but anyway. The other company, uh, it was my terminal manager and it was corporate. Um, two tanker companies I was with, they were decent for a while, but one, they sold out to another company that knew nothing about trucking. And so they just gradually went downhill. The owner stayed on part time to kind of help these people learn trucking, but they pretty much destroyed the company. I mean, it's still around, but it's not like it was. And in Ericsson Transport, they were decent, but they were leased on with quality carriers, and <clears throat> quality carriers is kind of communist, so I was like, man, eventually I just got tired of that. And then they wrongfully terminated my dad, so that created bad blood, and then I had to bounce. So I was just like, I gotta leave before I get myself fired because I got an attitude problem. <clears throat> oh, uh, another tanker company I was with, they wouldn't get me home on time. They kept trying to pull that 34 hour reset crap on me. They wouldn't get me home when I needed to be home. And, uh,. I had child support court, and they just ignored that and wouldn't get me home. And then I ended up getting a warrant for my arrest, so I had to quit. <coughs> and find another job, because they wouldn't get me home. So, uh, the last tanker company I was with, they were pretty decent, except they didn't take very good care of their equipment. They acted like a fly-by-night operation, even though they were not a fly-by-night operation. But if you took, you know, if you took a quick glance at them, you would think they were. In fact, I was skeptical at first. Uh, there were some red flags, but overall, the company was decent. Uh, they just didn't really care about taking care of their equipment. I stayed there for a couple few years and then I bounced. So, anyway, I'm uh, probably gonna go to Cryogenic. So, this company I'm going to now, they mostly do biofuel, uh, which is not hazardous. But I'm gonna work on uh, getting my hazmat back and then if I if I ever quit this next company, 
I'm gonna line up a company that does cryogenics and trains and go that direction. And uh, provided they'll get me home. So, you know, for me it's all about money and home time. <clears throat> take care of the equipment, take care of me. <clears throat> I'll take care of you. I run safe, I run legal, I run as hard as I can. And as much as I can. <clears throat> and if I need more money, I'll run harder. You know, I'll, I'll, <clears throat> I'll for, forego some of my days off just because I want that money. <clears throat> but that needs to be my choice. You know. But anyway. So, I pretty much got my bags packed. <clears throat> I got extra bat boxes in the truck. <clears throat> my allergies are acting up. But anyways, so, if I gotta bounce early or they let me go early, cause you know, when I put in my two weeks notice sometimes, very rarely, but when I put in my two weeks notice, sometimes companies will be like, all right, have a nice day. They just let you go early. I'm like, all right, fine. So I'm prepared this time. <clears throat> I remember uh, one driver I gave a ride a long time, ago. long time ago. He was working for Swift, <clears throat> and uh, he turned in his two weeks' notice. He didn't live very far from a terminal. He turned in his two weeks' notice. And they sent, they routed him back to a terminal on the uh, west coast and left him stranded there in the winter. And he lived in uh, the UP. And uh, so I gave him a ride all the way back home. Uh, dropped him off. It was somewhat on my route, it was a little bit out of my route, but I was working for an owner operator who didn't care. So I was like, yeah, I'll take you home. This is back before I even had, you know, technology and all that stuff in my truck. I had a laptop, but that was about it, you know. Nothing fancy, nothing special. I didn't have too much to lose, so I didn't worry about having a rider in the truck, you know. I, was, I had no money, hardly. I had nothing really to my name at that time. So I didn't have much to lose. <clears throat> now that I got more to lose, I don't give strangers rides anymore. Plus, companies don't really let you get away with that anymore either. But, um, yeah, so you gotta watch out for things like that. You know, Swift left this guy stranded like 15, 16, 100 miles away from home, something like that. I don't know. I do the math. But he was out up in, I don't remember if it was Portland, Oregon, or Seattle, Washington, but he was up in that area. <clears throat> and he lived in the UP, so, yeah, he was stranded. Had to figure out how to get home. He had no money. I got money now. Uh, I mean, I'm a little tight, but. Truck stop, 5.7 miles. Next opportunity. 13 miles. Worst case scenario, I just rent a U-Haul and an Uber. Take the Uber to the U-Haul, get the U-Haul, bring it back to the yard, load up my stuff, go home, or go to the next terminal. <clears throat> I'll probably just go home, get my other truck out of the shop, because it's got, uh, I just got a brand, a newer, newer used truck and uh, put it in the shop because it needs a fuel gauge and it needs to make sure it can pass an inspection. <clears throat> so they let me go home, but then like, blah, 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 blah. they let me go early, <clears throat> then I'll just go home, take care of my business stuff, 
clean out the back of my little Dakota because it's full of crap. I got it loaded down with crap. <clears throat> uh, it's got a camper shell on it. Load it up with uh, my stuff and drive it up to the new terminal. And that way I got transportation at all times. So, <clears throat> yeah probably what I should have done with this company but you know I'm constantly having vehicles break down in fact I think that truck was broke down at the time both my trucks were broke down at the time that's why I got a third truck and now I'm looking at getting a uh, fourth vehicle as a backup you know people say well why don't you just get a newer vehicle well the newer vehicles suck I mean yeah they probably won't break down so much but they're expensive to work on. You can't do any work on it yourself. <clears throat> Hardly. You might maybe be able to change the battery. Not the only thing you can really change is maybe the fluids. <clears throat> maybe. So. Oh, tires. You might be able to change the tires. But, um. <clears throat> Yeah, you know, so my taxes and insurance is cheaper on the older vehicles. The maintenance on the older vehicles is probably a lot cheaper than making a car payment and having that high, high interest payment. Not interest payment. That too. But uh, insurance, because you have to have full coverage. I just get an older vehicle, pay $15 a year for taxes pay $800 a year for insurance and uh, or maybe a little less I can't remember um, <clears throat> and then just have maintenance every now and then so Fuel might be a little bit more because they get a little bit less fuel mileage, but pickup trucks, you know, these days, even the newer ones don't get that good of fuel mileage. So I only the compact cars and stuff get really good fuel mileage. But work trucks, nah, not so much. So 2007 or older, and I'd say the same thing about a big truck maybe 14 I can't remember the cutoff date but anything before uh, DEF uh, is acceptable <coughs> on uh, personal vehicles anything before key fobs with auto start is acceptable <laughs> you know if you have to if you if you add the auto start after, you know, as a, as a aftermarket addition, that's cool, you know. But the, the stuff that comes standard, where it's push button start, and you have to have a key fob in order to start the car, yeah, I'm good. Those key fobs are like $300 a piece to replace. <clears throat> so don't lose them. I'd rather just go to Walmart and get a key made for five bucks or less. So, if it's got a chip in it, I don't want it. So, anyways, I'm getting close to my pickup. 